Hello, how you doing? I want to talk about this. There's always going to be a shooting. It really is, particularly among young black males. Now, look, this, um, these two shootings in Baltimore, Maryland, they were planned. I think they were planned. It didn't come. If I had known that they were going to have a block party in Baltimore, I would have emailed the Baltimore police and say, you better get out there because there's going to be a shooting. Because, look, black people and gatherings don't mix. They don't mix. Every time black people gather, I'm being real. I'm not racist. I'm just real. Every time black people gather, there's shootings. Every time. Shootings at high school graduations. Shooting at college graduations. Shootings at Sweet 16 uh, parties. There's always shooting. There's always. Okay, if so-and-so black kids have a party, a Sweet 16 party, there's going to be some fool there, some black young fool, male usually, who is mad because he did not get a an invitation, so he's going to come there and shoot the party up. That's, that always happens. It always happens. Okay? You know, in my extended family, there was a reunion, and if they had had the reunion in the city that they were at... They, there would have been some shootings. So you know what they did? They went out of state, went to a super small town and had a reunion, and it was peaceful. You know, the other day, somebody was discussing with me about a gathering, barbecue and stuff. I wouldn't go to it. It's too dangerous. Something's wrong with black males. Something's wrong with the black male under 50. I don't know what's wrong with it. Maybe they're putting something in the food. I don't know. There's a shooting, but there's shootings everywhere. Sweet 16 parties, graduation parties. How about this? Uh, a shooting at a funeral. You bury one body, guy, bury another. Who ever heard of something like that? Okay. Um, now, look, look. These two young black males, one was in the car, one was at the ATM machine. They tried to rob a man at the ATM machine. And the man at the ATM machine, he just happened to have a gun. So he shot and killed both of them. So there's two black males. They're young and they're dead and they're gone to hell. Bye. Because ain't no thieves in heaven, y'all. They dead and gone to hell. Why? Because one wanted to follow the other. Okay, let's go shoot. Let's go rob this man. Let's go get paid. And they dead. Both end up dead and gone to hell. You know, in Proverbs it said that somebody entices you to do something, don't do it. But look, I think, I don't know what's wrong with the young black male under 50. I don't know. Uh, maybe it's something in the food. But I think what is closer to the truth is, is that they are followers. They have no independent thinking skills. If someone tells them to go, let's go shoot this person, they go do it. If somebody says, let's go rob this convenience store, they go, they go do it. I mean, not even thinking ahead of time, the black man does not, the young black man, probably the old black man too, does not think five minutes ahead of time. They don't think, well, if I go rob this convenience store, it may cost me my life and I'll be dead and gone to hell. They don't think like that. They just say, okay, let me go rob this convenience store. Let's go do it. Let's go get paid. And they, they do. So I don't know. You know, there's always a shooting. I, my advice to black people, because I don't go to gatherings at all. I don't go to gatherings. So I know it's going to be trouble. My advice is that if you want to have a, a sweet 16 party, go out of state, family only. If you want to have a graduation party, go to go out of state, family only. I would not go to a block party because it's going to be some trouble. It's going to be some fights. It's going to be some shootings because it's going to be one or two young black men going to shoot everybody up. And I don't know what's wrong with them. But like I said, I think it really has to do with them being followers. The first generation of black men were had no thinking skills. They don't think five minutes ahead of time. And this generation has absolutely no, no thinking skills. They don't even think 10 minutes ahead of time, five minutes ahead of time. They almost become like sharks. You know, sharks only have like a half of a cup of brain. Okay, all a shark want to do is kill and eat. And so that's how the young black man has become. It's something like a half a brain, like a shark. Because all sharks do is kill and eat. Okay. So that's my advice. My advice to black people is to stop gathering. Bye.